Hi guys! Are you in for another fun learning today? Perfect! As you all know, Riza is my name, Science Adventure is my game. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Look at these creatures! Aren't they lovely? Did you know that all living organisms, regardless of size and form, are composed of cells? I bet you are now curious what cells are. All living organisms are composed of one or more cells. Cell is considered as the functional unit of life because this is where many life processes happen. Cell size varies from one type to another. It is so small that you can't observe it with an unaided eye. Microscope is a device used to observe cells. Take a closer look to the cell structure. Most of the cells have three main parts. The cell membrane, cytoplasm, and the nucleus. The cell membrane, also called as plasma membrane, is a thin, flexible, and semi-permeable outer covering of the cell. It is made up of two layers of phospholipids and proteins randomly scattered in the phospholipid bilayer. The cell membrane is mainly for protection. It separates the cell from its environment and holds the contents of the cell. It also regulates the entry and exit of substances in and out of the cell. Now, let's go to the next part. Cytoplasm is the gel-cell solution that can be found inside the cell membrane but outside the nucleus. It consists of water, organic and inorganic compounds, and some gases. This is where most of the cellular processes happen like energy production, protein synthesis, and many more through the help of different organelles suspended on it. Organelles are specialized cell structures that perform specific functions. Lastly, we have the nucleus. The nucleus is a double membrane structure suspended in cytoplasm. It has two important parts, namely nuclear membrane and nucleoplasm. The nucleus serves as the director of the cell. It controls all the other functions of the cell. This is because it contains the DNA material or the genes, which serves as the template for functional processes occurring inside the cell. Did you know that even before, many scientists have studied the nature of cells? Theodore Schwann, a zoologist, and Matthias Schleiden, a botanist, formulated the cell theory based on their separate studies on animal and plant cells respectively. At present, the cell theory is summarized as follows. All living things are made up of one or more cells. Cells are the basic structural unit of all living things and... All cells come from pre-existing cells. Now, do you think it's possible to live without cells? Definitely not, because cells make up who we are. Without it, life processes would not be possible. So, all together we say, thank you cells!